Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. They really shift, charging around England's 10 best race circuits. The sports cars of the BTCC, Britain's fastest touring car series. Jim Clark, Alan Menu, Frank Biela and Fabrizio Giovinati all were once champions in the BTCC. Croft is the venue for the fifth weekend of the season. Old hands and young guns. The fans love this mix and the really close contact to their idols. Autograph sessions at pit lane open to all. No aloof attitudes here, no matter how tight the table, nor how near to the start. I think that's one of the reasons why the BTCC is so successful. You know, we're not, we're not caged away, we're not locked away. It's a family day out. Um, you know, you'll see lots of kids around, which is great. Um, and, you know, they, they get access to us. Um, it's part of our job role, if you like, to, to, to be in with the crowd. This is English fashion with English weather. He's the prankster among the BTCC drivers, and at six foot seven, the tallest. In his Honda Civic, he's also the fastest. Matt Neal, the overall leader, but he's well aware that it's now more crowded at the top. New season's good. I mean, we have more cars than last year. There's uh, Giovinardi's back, Plato's back, so uh, we have plenty of people to fight with. Vauxhall, BMW, Chevrolet, all in all seven different vehicle makes on the track, with the drivers producing some fierce battles. Here, no one gives a single inch. As we come up to the complex, the two Hondas going in together. And look at Chilton. Tom Chilton's probably the smartest of the drivers, and at 25, also one of the youngest. His trademark, his gelled hair, which is not at all easy to fix down under a helmet. Uh, with difficulty. <laughs> I have to get a special balaclava to pull it down. In their LPG turbo cars, he and his teammate Tom Onslow Cole have firmly established themselves in the top ten. Female fans especially line up to see them. Me and Tom as a pair are the two youngest on the grid. Uh, he's, Tom's 22 and I'm 25. Uh, which, which definitely helps for the younger, younger women, of, of, of the fans of the British touring cars. However, they're not the only ones with young, pretty female fans. The oldest driver in the field has his fair share too. David Pinkney. At 58, he also likes to look a bit younger now and then. He's been racing in the BTCC since 1989, now with his own private team. Well, we've known each other so long and great mates and they've been with me in the racing teams for, I mean, some of the guys have been with me for 25 years so, and they're still with me today. So yeah, it is, it's sort of a family team and it's, it's great because it's all relaxed and everyone knows what they're doing so it's very efficient and um, it's good. Three races per BTCC weekend provide permanent excitement. The grid positions get regularly reshuffled with rookies and veterans thus frequently mixing it with the favourites. Whether title aspirant or underdog, they all run on standard tyres, competing with the same weapons. The engineers are ultimately the link between the race teams, the vehicles, the drivers and the tyre partner. In this case, Dunlop. This partnership's a very, very close one. British weather, British full throttle tracks and British sporting spirit. The first half of the 2010 BTCC season promised exciting race action. Over the curb, over the bumps. I think over the last two years the championship has become a lot stronger and a lot more competitive. There's 23 cars on the grid today and you could put name one of maybe 15 drivers that could win a race. Stronger than ever, action-packed and ruthless. The fans can look forward to a further six race weekends. The lead for tall guy Matt Neal is just eight points. Will he still be head and shoulders above the rest come the end? We'll keep you posted all the way on the BTCC. This tough but always fair, in fact, 
typically British race series and its heroes. You're watching Inside Racing. Stay tuned. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.